Hey guys, this is Jerry Yours Boing for Kids First, and today we're reviewing the film Power Rangers, the 2017 remake. Now, not only does this film have beautiful cinematography and wonderful costume design, but it also really brings justice to the classic Power Rangers series that so many people love, including me. Now, the film starts when five kids who have really no connection, they're not friends, they haven't really seen each other before, they're complete strangers to each other, but just by chance, they all arrive in this quarry that's mined for gold, and, they, they, and then they find these really weird rocks. They're colored, and they start glowing, and they start doing a lot of weird stuff. Well, they try to escape the quarry because they're not exactly supposed to be there, and when they're escaping the quarry, they sadly get hit by a train. Weirdly, though, all five of them wake up the next day as if nothing happened with a rock still in their pocket. Even though this train crash should have been lethal, they're all perfectly fine and in fact have bigger strength, much better jumping, and so many other superpowers that they can't really explain. Well, soon they find out that they were actually chosen to become the five Power Rangers to protect Earth from a very, very evil woman named Rita Repulsa who is trying to destroy Earth by stealing a life crystal that pretty much allows life to exist on Earth. Well, this is really, really bad, so now they now have to prepare and train and fight this Rita Repulsa. It's not that easy, though, because they have to do a whole bunch of things to be able to become Super Power Rangers and be able to fight her successfully, to be able to just even get the Power Rangers suits and weapons and armor to be able to control all that. They need to do a lot of training. Now, if you want to find out what happens, you gotta watch the film. My favorite scene is probably when they all wake up and they first experimenting with their powers. I really like the scene because the cinematography and the acting work really well together to show just how kind of confused they are and how surprised they are because they were never really muscular, super strong kids that could do stuff like this and then all of a sudden they're superhumans, stronger than the strongest humans in the world, which is just really shocking. And their facial expressions, the cinematography all work really well. It's also a little hilarious in the montage with everybody discovering that they have superpowers. Speaking of humor, the comedy is one of the things that I really loved about the film. It's throughout the entire story and it fits perfectly. It's hilarious and it's so unique and everybody will love the comedy. Another part I loved about the film was the costume designs. I mean, you can just not love how the Power Rangers were dressed. They look spectacular. They look like sci-fi space warriors and I loved every bit of it. And speaking of the costume design, kind of part of that is the special effects. Now the special effects were good and bad. The actual models like the giant robots and how they looked and how they were textured, that was very nice and it looked beautiful. But how they were placed in the scene, how it was overlaid in the actual movie, looked very fake and looked un very, very unrealistic and it looked like CGI, which was slightly disappointing. I also have to say that despite I am being a slightly a Power Ranger fan, people who completely weren't Power Ranger fans really knew the ending immediately. Like as soon as they introduced the conflict of the story, you immediately knew how the story was going to end, which is really disappointing because it kind of makes the whole story boring. And I did feel like it was a little stretched out. The film is two hours long and I did think that some of the scenes could be removed. Another part I loved about the film, probably my favorite part of the film, is the cinematography. Just so many times in the movie, you can really appreciate how beautiful it is. Not only with aerial shots of the landscape and battles and all that, but also just giving a first person perspective almost. From the very first five minutes of the film, you can kind of see this pattern of giving a first person perspective to the viewer. So you're not in the third person just watching it away. You're actually in the film experiencing it with the actors, which I really like that. It put a whole new dimension to the story and it was really a great idea. Now, unlike the old Power Ranger series, this one is probably not meant for younger kids. There's a lot of violence. There's a good amount of language. There's even a couple of adult references. So I'd have to give an age rating of 12 to 18. I also give it three and a half out of five stars because it is an entertaining film with wonderful cinematography, beautiful, absolutely beautiful costume design, pretty good story, but the story also suffers that it's predictable, it's stretched out, and the special effects definitely could have been improved on. However, if you love the Power Rangers series before, I definitely recommend this movie to you because you'll absolutely love seeing all the five Power Rangers back in action again. If you'd like to check out this film, it's now in theaters near you. I'm Jerry Orr, supporting for Kids First. Bye!